it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and Belinda, this is for you. Um, and Belinda, I, I tried the best I could to try and come up with something very vivid, um, bright colored, um, and showing all the colors on the happy birthday banner that you wanted. I did the happy birthday so far, but I've not done um, your name on it yet, but I'll do that. Um, I just wanted to show what I have done so far, and then I want you to tell me if this is the idea that you had. You hear the machine cutting in the background because I'm still cutting out um, some of my glitter backgrounds. What I did is I took a bunch of the pictures, here's the H, and I took a bunch of the pictures from um, Alice in Wonderland, um, the, the, oh, I can't remember the producer, not the, the, well, Belinda, you know which one it is. I'm trying to save for the rest of the viewers here. Um, this has got some glitter on it that's drying, and I'm in the middle of cutting and cutting out the backgrounds for them. Anyway, what I did is my normal five-inch scallop um, square, and then I did the letter on the top because with all of these images, there's so much color. I didn't want to put a letter on top of it and color it, color it up. So I put the letter on, on the top of the image and then I made a smaller scallop box and fused the two together and then I cut the image and the letter out as one. This was the first one, the H from the happy, and then I added little bits of glitter, not a whole lot, just enough to make it kind of pop out, picking up on some of the colors that were in the image. And let me see, and then after, here's one that's done. After I get them all done, here's the A, whoops, hold on just a second here, let me cut this off, this paper's really thick. Okay, here's the A, and again, I put just a little tiny bit of glitter in it to pick it up, and this was that rose that had the face on it, and then on all of them, when they're done, they're all going to have a uh, glitter paper um, card stock, really heavy card, behind each letter. So these are really, really heavy. Um, again, the A and the image. Uh, for Silhouette users, what I did is I made a five by five inch square and didn't fill it with any color and, and picked my images that I wanted off of the movie and then positioned my square on top of whatever it was that I wanted to cut out. And then I did a, a well, not a well, a crop. So it cropped out ju just an image, a part of it. And then I put the hot pink um, glitter paper on the back of that one. The P, I picked up the image of the wrought iron um, gate here. And you can see Alice in Wonderland down here. Um, I put a little tiny bit of blue on there because she had a blue dress on. And there's a little bit of the flowers and I added some shades of pink, pink again, of glitter. And then there's some um, white glitter on there. And again, it's just to give it the shine. And then there's kind of a champagne color glitter background on the P. And I'll take close-up pictures when I'm all done. This one hasn't got its background on yet because my I'm going to be doing it green, which is currently cutting out. Let me grab one of them and show you. It's cutting out right now. I just grabbed it off my mat. This is the backgrounds that I'm using. And I just... I have to use a lot of the half-inch wide um, ATG tape because these things don't stick real good to the glitter papers and I want to make sure they don't come off. After everything is dry and, and settled on here, I will um, put them under books to make sure that they adhere really good to this glue. There we go. And here's another P. I got the rabbit. I know you said something about not necessarily using the characters, but um, you're going to have to tell me if you have a problem with it and, and want me to redo. I personally think they look really, really cool. Um, again, I added just little, little bits of glitter, and I picked up the orange in his ears. And then here's the Y which is going to be, let me see here. I am going to do this one. Don't want to do it right. I'm going to do this one in yellow. 
the background colors are all different glitters, papers. This tape is so sticky. And why is it not sticking? There we go. And I'm going to put him down on here. Again, I got all the letters on the tops so you can get all the you can see all the images and the, and the elements. You can see them perfect because they're underneath the letter. And here's this one for the Y. And if you want any of these changed, you just let me know because this is the first time I've I've done this theme and not being all that familiar um, I'm going by my taste and I think it looks really cool but it might not be what you were looking for I'm going to put my other yellow down here if I can get enough I hope I don't run out of tape here because I'm not going to change my And I don't think it's going to come down. Let me try this one here and see if this one will work. I am hotter than blue blazes in here. I think with my lights and computer and, and machines and everything running, it just heats it up ungodly because it isn't even that hot outside. I got my windows open. I don't want to turn the air on if I don't need to. It's not that hot outside. But um, the, again, I'm going to press these down underneath the book to make sure that they all stick real good. I can't press them and roll them out now because they're, some of the um, glitters that I used aren't dry yet. And again, I'll go back. And there she is. And she had on the real heavy duty um, blue eye shadows. And I did, did those in a couple different shades of blue. And here's the eye. Um, I picked up the color with the glitter underneath the mushroom and then the caterpillar here and I picked the, the blue for the background. And these are a bunch of mushrooms and picked up some purple and pinks because there's some purple and pink on this mushroom. I hope you can see all these. And the twins here very very earth tones that I did on that I did add a little bit of blues um, this has got black glitter on it as well and then that there's some silver or white glitter and here's the tea party and I tried to pick up the pink from the chair that she's on and again I wanted to keep these all really bright bright colors because I think that's the whole thing with with these images. Here's all the mushrooms and I did a lot of glittering on that and different shades of pink and orange and green and gold and silver and and this one is going to go on this green background. Let me put that one on here. And sorry to hear about your ankle incident there, Belinda. I, I sure hope that um, you're feeling good. Um, I'm having an issue with my knee, so I started biking again. And every time my knee, knee starts to feel better, I find 101 excuses. And I don't go biking, and then my knee starts acting up again with that torn meniscus. Oh, didn't show you the A. And I got the green on the background on that one. And then here's a bunch of mushrooms in the different shades of blue. And I added the blue in the background. Now I'm going to set these up and take a picture for you and send it your way. And, and again, let me know. Um, I know you said you didn't necessarily want the, the images of the characters, but I don't know if you meant because I have to cover up, cut out one more glitter because you thought the letters were going to go on top. Um, however, I dropped them down and I emailed you earlier and said I was going to be doing something different that I hadn't done before and that was what it was. Trying to figure out how to put the letters on here and not cover up all these beautiful, beautiful um, prints. Because boy, uh, they had some really, really nice ones in the Google search. However, 
they don't have individuals of anything. They're all backgrounds or, or, you know. But anyway, I'll take a few pictures and send it your way, and I hope you like it. Thank you, and have a good night, everyone.